Hi, my friends. Today, I want to present you a new story. Enjoy watching it. The sun was setting behind the lush gardens of the opulent estate, casting a golden hue over the elegant wedding setup. As Ophelia balanced a tray of champagne flutes, she couldn't help but marvel at the extravagance. Despite the physical demands of her job as a waitress, she found solace in the steady income it provided for her and her two children, Kevin and Sally. Moving gracefully between the tables, Ophelia spotted the bride and groom on the stage. The bride was a vision in white, and the groom stood proudly beside her. She had never seen the bride before, but something about the groom's profile made her heart skip a beat. She drew closer, her eyes narrowing as recognition dawned. Impossible, Ophelia whispered, nearly dropping her tray. The groom's face, slightly altered by time, was unmistakably her late husband, Phoenix, who had supposedly died three years ago. Thalia's mind raced. Could it be a doppelganger? Or had Phoenix faked his death? The very thought sent a shiver down her spine. She backed away, her hands trembling as she set the tray down on a nearby table. Are you all right? Asked a fellow waitress, concern etched on her face. Yeah, just need some air. Ophelia stammered before making her way to the garden. Once outside, she leaned against a tree, her thoughts swirling. Memories of Phoenix flooded her mind, their love, their life together, and the devastating news of his death. How could he be here, alive and about to marry another woman? She needed answers. Ophelia squared her shoulders and took a deep breath, determination settling in. She had to confront him, but the timing had to be perfect. She couldn't risk causing a scene without being absolutely certain. As she re-entered the venue, she caught snippets of the guests' conversations, their laughter and cheer a stark contrast to her inner turmoil. Her eyes remained fixed on the groom. She watched his every move, waiting for an opportunity to speak to him alone. The wedding festivities continued, but Ohalia's attention was solely on the man she had once loved. Her mind concocted a myriad of scenarios, each more implausible than the last. Every fiber of her being screamed for resolution. Finally, the groom stepped away from the crowd, heading towards a secluded area near the stage. Ophelia seized the moment. She approached him cautiously, her heart pounding in her chest. Phoenix, she called softly, her voice barely audible over the music. The groom turned, his eyes widening in shock. Excuse me? It's you, isn't it? Phoenix, how could you? Her voice trembled with a mix of anger and desperation. He stared at her for a moment, his face a mask of confusion. I think you have me mistaken for someone else. No, Thalia insisted, stepping closer. I know it's you. Why are you doing this? His expression hardened. I don't know who you think I am, but my name is Connor Pearson. Please leave me alone. Before Ophelia could respond, he walked away, leaving her standing there, her mind reeling. She watched him rejoin the bride, his smile returning as if nothing had happened. Ophelia knew she couldn't let this go. She had to find out the truth. Phoenix, or Connor, was hiding something, and she was determined to uncover it. The stakes were high, and the intrigue surrounding his sudden reappearance was too great to ignore. As she walked back to her duties, a plan began to form in her mind. The confrontation was only the beginning. The wedding reception was in full swing, the lively music and joyous chatter filling the air. Ophelia moved between tables, her mind racing with thoughts of Phoenix, now claiming to be Connor Pearson. Determined to uncover the truth, she couldn't let the matter rest. As the night wore on, the guests became more engrossed in the festivities. Ophelia's eyes remained fixed on the groom, watching for an opportunity to confront him. She knew she had to choose the right moment, a time when he wouldn't be surrounded by a crowd of onlookers. Finally, the bride and groom took to the stage for a toast. Ophelia's heart pounded as she saw her chance. With trembling hands, she set her tray down and made her way to the stage. Every step felt like a mile, but she was resolute. As the couple raised their glasses, Ophelia stepped forward, her voice steady despite the whirlwind of emotions inside her. Excuse me, may I have everyone's attention? The room fell silent, all eyes turning towards her. The bride looked confused while the groom's face turned ashen. Helia took a deep breath and continued, I want to congratulate the happy couple, but there's something I need to say. The guests murmured among themselves, curiosity peaked. Thalia locked eyes with the groom. Connor Pearson, 
Or should I say Phoenix? How can you stand here and pretend to be someone else? The room erupted in gasps and whispers. The bride's confusion turned to shock as she looked at the groom. What is she talking about? She's mistaken, the groom stammered, his voice strained. I don't know this woman. Thalia stepped closer, her voice rising with conviction. Three years ago, you disappeared, leaving your family to believe you were dead. Now you're here, marrying someone else under a different name. How do you explain that? The groom's composure cracked. I don't know what you're talking about. Leave us alone. Ophelia felt a hand on her arm, her boss pulling her back. Ophelia, this is inappropriate. Please step down. She shook her head, her eyes never leaving the groom. I won't be silenced, you owe me an explanation. Security began moving towards her, but before they could reach her the bride turned to the groom, tears in her eyes. Is this true? Are you hiding something from me? The groom's face twisted in anger and fear. This is ridiculous. Let's continue the celebration. The tension was palpable, the room on edge. Thalia's heart ached as she saw the bride's pain, but she couldn't back down. You can't keep running from the truth, Phoenix. The past will catch up with you. Security finally escorted Ophelia off the stage, but the damage was done. The groom's perfect facade had cracked, and the air was thick with uncertainty. As she was led away, Ophelia felt a mix of triumph and dread. She had exposed the lie, but the fallout was just beginning. In the back of the room, she caught a glimpse of the groom's panicked expression, and she knew this was far from over. The confrontation had set a series of events in motion that would change everything. The truth was out, and there was no turning back. After the chaotic confrontation at the wedding, Ophelia found herself reeling with emotions. She left the venue feeling both triumphant and unsettled. The revelation about Phoenix, or Connor, had stirred up memories she had buried deep. Determined to push the events of the evening aside, Felia stopped by a nearby store to pick up treats for her children, Kevin and Sally. As she reached into her pocket to pay, panic gripped her. The envelope with her pay was missing. She searched frantically, but it was nowhere to be found. Embarrassment washed over her as she stood there. Unable to pay for the groceries, the cashier's impatient voice only heightened her distress. Are you going to pay or not? Just as Ophelia was about to leave, defeated, a kind-hearted man stepped forward. His name was Harvey, and he had been watching the situation unfold. Without hesitation, he paid for Ophelia's groceries, his warm smile easing her embarrassment. Thank you, Ophelia murmured gratefully, her cheeks flushing. She felt a glimmer of hope amidst the chaos of her emotions. Harvey walked with her outside the store, his presence comforting. They talked as they walked, and Ophelia learned that Harvey had also experienced loss in his life, a tragedy that had left him with a profound empathy for others going through difficult times. They exchanged stories, finding solace in shared experiences of grief and resilience. By the time they reached Ophelia's home, a bond had formed between them, a connection that felt unexpectedly deep. Can I walk you home? Harvey asked gently as they reached her doorstep. It's late and I want to make sure you're safe. Ophelia hesitated for a moment, touched by his concern. Thank you, Harvey, but I'll be fine from here. He nodded understandingly, but before he left, he handed her a slip of paper. In case you ever need someone to talk to. As Falia watched him walk away, she felt a renewed sense of strength. Harvey's kindness had touched her deeply, offering a glimpse of light in the midst of darkness. She knew she wasn't alone in her quest for answers about Phoenix or Connor. Inside her home, Kevin and Sally greeted her with excitement, their laughter filling the air. Ophelia tucked them into bed, their innocent smiles a balm to her troubled soul. That night, as she lay in bed, thoughts of Harvey and the events of the day filled her mind. Despite the turmoil, a flicker of hope burned within her, a hope for closure and perhaps a chance at a new beginning. Ophelia sat in her small, dimly lit living room, the events of the wedding still fresh in her mind. The confrontation had left her emotionally drained yet strangely liberated. She knew she couldn't continue living with unanswered questions about Phoenix's reappearance and his apparent deception. The next day Ophelia couldn't shake the feeling of unease. She scrolled through news articles online, hoping to find any trace of Phoenix or Connor Pearson. Nothing. 
it was as if he had vanished again, leaving only confusion and suspicion in his wake. Her thoughts were interrupted by a knock on the door. Startled, she opened it to find Harvey, the kind stranger from the grocery store. Hi, Ophelia. I hope I'm not intruding. I wanted to check on you after what happened yesterday. Relief flooded Ophelia. No, not at all. Please come in. She led him inside, grateful for his presence. Harvey sat down, concern etched on his face. I can't imagine what you're going through. That must have been incredibly difficult. It was, Felia admitted, her voice barely above a whisper. I thought he was dead, Harvey. How could he do this? Harvey reached out, squeezing her hand gently. Sometimes people do things that are hard to understand, but what matters now is how you move forward. His words offered some comfort, but Ophelia knew she needed closure. I have to find out the truth, Harvey. I can't live like this. I understand, he said softly, but be careful. You don't know what you might uncover. Ophelia nodded, her resolve hardening. I have to try. Over the following weeks, Thalia immersed herself in her search for answers. She visited old acquaintances of Phoenix, tracked down leads, and pieced together fragments of his past. Each revelation brought her closer to the truth, but it was a truth she wasn't sure she was ready to face. One evening, as she sifted through old emails on her computer, she came across a familiar name, Simon Ross, an alias Phoenix had used years ago. Her heart raced as she clicked on the email, hoping for a clue. The message was cryptic, written in a language only Phoenix would understand. It hinted at hidden meetings, secret transactions, alluding to a life far removed from the one he had shared with Ophelia. She felt a mix of anger and sadness. How could he have kept so much from her? The man she thought she knew seemed like a stranger now, his actions shrouded in deceit. A knock on the door interrupted her thoughts. It was Harvey again, a concerned look on his face. Thalia, are you okay? You haven't answered my calls. She nodded, tears welling in her eyes. I found something, something that changes everything. Harvey took her hands in his, his expression filled with empathy. Whatever it is, you don't have to face it alone. She squeezed his hands gratefully, drawing strength from his presence. Thank you, Harvey, for everything. As they sat together in silence, Ophelia realized that despite the turmoil, she was not alone. Months had passed since Ophelia uncovered the truth about Phoenix, and life began to settle into a new rhythm. With Harvey's unwavering support, she found solace in rebuilding her life and focusing on her children, Kevin and Sally. One crisp autumn afternoon, Ophelia received an unexpected call. It was from a friend who had attended the wedding where she confronted Phoenix. Ophelia, you won't believe this. There's news about Phoenix. Her heart skipped a beat. Despite her efforts to move on, thoughts of Phoenix still haunted her. What news? He's been arrested, her friend revealed. Apparently he was involved in a major scam. The authorities have been searching for him for months. Shock rippled through Phalia. The man she once loved had fallen so far. Yet, instead of feeling vindicated, she felt a pang of sadness. I see. Her friend continued, I thought you should know. It's all over the news. Thank you for telling me, Ophelia replied, her voice steady. She hung up the phone, emotions swirling inside her. Harvey entered the room, sensing her distress. What's wrong? Ophelia recounted the news, feeling a mix of relief and sorrow. He's been arrested, for fraud. Harvey took her hands in his, offering comfort. I'm sorry, Ophelia, but this isn't your burden to carry anymore. She nodded, grateful for his reassurance. You're right, it's time to let go. In the weeks that followed, Ophelia focused on her family and her own healing. With Harvey by her side, she found the strength to forge ahead. They grew closer, their bond deepening with each passing day. One evening, as they sat together on the porch, watching the sunset, Harvey turned to her with a gentle smile. Ophelia, I've been thinking. She looked at him curiously, her heart fluttering. Yes? I love you, he confessed, his voice soft but sure. I want us to build a future together. Tears welled up in Ophelia's eyes, overwhelmed by his words. Harvey, I love you too. In that moment, surrounded by the warmth of Harvey's love and the promise of a new beginning, Thalia felt a sense of peace she hadn't known in years. She knew that no matter what the future held, they would face it together. As they embraced, Ophelia realized that the pain of the past had led her to this moment.
where she had found not only closure, but a chance at happiness once more. With Harvey, she had found her new beginning, and she was ready to embrace it fully.